If you can wait for 10 minutes and don't eat the marshmallow, then you get three marshmallows. Today I wanted to try a social experiment with the boys, and the most famous one, I suppose, is the marshmallow test. Have you heard of this one? It was pioneered in the 1970s, I think, in Stamford in the United States. So basically, you put a child in a room and you give them one marshmallow. And you say, if you can hold off and not eat this marshmallow, when I come back, which is about 10 or 15 minutes later, you will get a second marshmallow. So you're basically testing the child's ability to wait, have patience and willpower for a bigger reward at the end. And what the study found was that those kids who were able to wait and had patience tended to turn out more successful later on in their adult life. I've never really done any kind of social experiment like this with the boys and I feel like they're very like amped up, turbo charged boys with a low concentration span. Ruin, stop playing around, come and sit down. Kieran? Come on, come on, quick. To be honest, I don't think they're gonna last the whole time. I wouldn't be surprised if they just eat the marshmallow straight away. Here's round one. Okay, 10 minutes, I'll come back and I'll give you more marshmallows if you don't eat these ones, okay? Okay, good. Okay, so we've just started the task. I'm really fascinated to see what happens. Currently, Ruin is covering his face in anguish as if if he doesn't see the marshmallow, the temptation is not there. He's starting to peek through. Yeah, he is. He's literally out of sight, out of minding it. <laughs> All of this is a surprise to me. Kieran is just lying on the floor, punching the carpet. They're not even trying to maybe find a toy. So time-wise, I guess we're about three minutes in and the boys are doing pretty well. I've always worried that because we stimulate them so much, modern parents, we always have an activity for them to do, or a play date to go to. Like we fill their days with stuff. And I often wonder if they're in a position where they gotta be bored, can they handle it? And so it's quite interesting to see if they are handling it. Kieran's taking a look at the marshmallows, maybe sizing up his options. <laughs> I actually think they will do it together. So if one of them eats, then both will eat, and if they, are able to hold off, both of them will hold off. I think there's a little bit of a team mentality to them. Oh, are you hungry? Do you want to eat marshmallows? Okay, eat some. No! I'm already surprised. I thought they would probably eat it straight away. Hey, stay in the room. Remember, if you stay until I come back, then you get extra marshmallows. Okay. He's starting to eat his duvet. Perhaps as a substitute for a marshmallow. Kieran has gone under the covers, I guess, again to obscure his view from the temptation. And I think Ruin is under his bed. Wow. 10 minutes is up. Impressive. All right, it's a reward time. We bros. Where is Ruin? I'm under my bed. Why, Ru? Why were you under your bed? Because I went. Okay, boys. Very good. You waited for 10 minutes and you I didn't eat. I waited longer. So was it difficult, Kieran? No. Then I get me. Yes, okay, because you waited for 10 minutes, you get that one, and you get two more. Good job, wee bros. So they did well for round one. So for round two, I decided to try and modify it slightly where the reward is not so certain. There are two gummies for you and two for you. And you have to wait, 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 mm -hmm. wait. If you can wait until I come back. Okay, I'm gonna wait under my bed again. If you can Me wait. Too. <laughs> if you can wait for 10 minutes and don't eat your gummies, you get to have your present as well but you don't know if it's gonna be good or bad. If you open the present, you don't get to have it, okay? Okay. Understand? Okay. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Coco, let's hide. Let's hide. Hide. Let's hide. Yeah, they seem to have resorted to the tactic of hiding under their bed again, like literal distance from the prize and uh, having it out of your vision. Maybe they have more willpower than I give them credit for. I guess they'll probably wait 
because they love gummies for sure and they probably love presents even more so I imagine in their mind the present is really good Can we get a bed? Okay, let's go I mean this is really nice to see, any parent will tell you that probably the greatest joy is when you see siblings play together this is like a really nice thing for me to see, is see them play by themselves because over the years the boys have been fairly clingy in a sense that they always need mom or dad to be with them when they play. And so these moments where they really do it happily by themselves, it's really nice. Three, two, one. And they did it! Ten minutes again, no problem. We bros! What are you doing? Why are you hiding? We're making a bed. You know you reached 10 minutes, you waited. So now what happens? Open up this. Okay, one for you and one for Ruth. Woo, it's open up this. I, I make it longer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is it gonna be good or is it gonna be bad? No, I mean bad. You think it's gonna be a bad present? Take it off. What's inside? <laughs> Big gummies! So I get to eat everything. You can eat all the gummies. Not all at the same time. <laughs> what? You what? too, Rue? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> That's not food. Uh, this is, yeah. your, this uh, is your reward. Yeah. A whole pack. So boys, was it easy to wait? No problem? Mm -hmm. And how do you feel now? Are you happy? I waited longer. Okay, can good job. Can you open this? Put it in my plate. Overall, I was really happy to see the boys pass the test, I suppose. Maybe one of the mistakes I make, and maybe other parents make this mistake as well, is that we, we feel like as parents we've got to be hands-on at all time and really like control what they're doing, either to make them happier, make sure they behave well, but actually maybe we should give them more credit and they would be fine being left by themselves to handle life a bit more. So originally they believed that this marshmallow test could be a predictor of success later in life but over the years lots of different variations of the test have shown that there are so many different factors at play. The child's social economic background, whether they like candy and marshmallows is also an important one. So when it comes to tests you can't hang your life's expectations on whether a test is passed or not by your child. So that's it for this episode of Daddy Diaries. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for our next video. You can also get the Click Network app, which uh, gives you the videos before they go on YouTube. I'll see you next episode.